from Eclectic Enchantments back with another week's worth of Nail Art Alphabet. This week we're working on the letter N and the lovely D suggested notes and that's the theme that we're going to be working with this week. So thank you very much for that. Um, I've actually filmed this twice now. This is my second run through because um, I actually completed it, but I didn't like the finished effect. I'll show you them at the end, but I've decided to go for something a little bit more whimsical to make it a little bit more interesting for yourself. So let's get started. This week I'm going to be using Max Factor Max Effect Nail Polish. It's a blue, but it's, it's chameleon, so it changes to green in the light it's really gorgeous and I'm also going to be using this lovely bright pink by Rio Nails and what I've done is um, base coat onto the nails and then we'll put our base colour on and as you can see this is such a pretty colour it reminds me of dragonfly wings and fairies really pretty iridescence. It also reminds me of a gemstone called Labradorite. If you've ever seen Labradorite you'll know what I mean. It's absolutely beautiful. When it catches the light it has that same effect uh, where it changes colour and, and just reflects. Absolutely beautiful. And just in case you're wondering, I'm actually wearing Revlon Moon Candy, which was a Secret Santa present from the lovely Daisy. Thank you very much, Daisy. It's gorgeous. I love it. So we'll just paint all five of our nails with that and let them dry. Okay. Now the nails are full dried, I'm going to use the other colour for this week's tutorial and I'm going to paint on the musical notes. Now I'm going to start with the little finger. And I'm going to draw a treble clef. If you don't know anything about music or reading music, you might not know what a treble clef is, but you'll probably notice, uh, recognise, I should say, the actual symbol once it's drawn. Now, I'm not particularly good at this, but I'll try my best. So, we're going to start on the bottom and just create a little tail. And then take that up so it's almost straight, but just curving out slightly almost to a point but then around to make a little P and then back out and curl almost into a circle but then changing into a spiral instead and that is your treble clef. Now what I will do is just show you that a little bit darker Okay, so just to try and show you a little bit clearer how to do the uh, treble clef itself, um, I thought I'll just do it on the white background so you, you might be able to see it easier. The, the best way to start is at the bottom, the towel end, and you want to bring the towel around and up in almost a straight line, and then you almost come to a point and it curves around a bit like a little P and then back out and around and then the last part is just simply curling up and that's the treble clef. So I want to give the effect of flowing music, something beautiful. The song that springs to mind is Claire de Lune. Uh, it's one of my favourite classical songs, uh, but it could be any song you like. I mean, this idea would be lovely for wedding nows or for a special occasion, Valentine's Day. You could actually put the music that means something to you onto your nails in the form of notes. I am just going to create uh, random notes but I'm going to make it look like they're flowing through the air as best I can anyway. So I'm going to start here and I'm just going to dot a couple of little dots around and then from that I'm going to create the stems of the notes. So just gently going up 
and then joining them or leaving them with a single towel just like that I know it's ever such a subtle image but you can see that already it's forming it's actually quite a bit brighter this is the brightest the best light I could get for you um, I'll try and take some photos as well at the end so I'm just going to continue that theme and I want it to just flow up and down so again I'll just put some dots and then join them up and again on to the next now and then on to the final now And there we go many thanks for watching this week um, I hope you've liked this somewhat simple tutorial um, if I can just move these slightly over while they're drying and I'll show you another set that I've made along the same theme but I've created almost a paper background with a pale blue to create the lines and soft chinchilla I think by L'Oreal um, now it's quite striking stri sorry start again it's quite a striking difference between um, the two different sets um, so you can see that th this is a, a theme that you could play with quite a lot and maybe come out with lots of different ideas for it depending on the occasion that you're using but it's really quick and simple so it wouldn't actually take very long to to paint it onto your nails and as I said thank you very much for watching um, I've been Erica from Eclectic Enchantments and I will see you next week if you could please leave me some comments um, either underneath the video or on my blog post to let me know what you think I should do for the letter P which will be the next one that I'm filming um, I would be most grateful for that and any feedback would be brilliant. So thank you very much for taking the time to watch and I will see you next time. Bye.